What medications in this era of supply shortage, skyrocketing prices are cost effective and generic? Let's talk about that today. Hi and welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine, lifestyle medicine, and obesity medicine. And this channel is the place for evidence-based answers to your weight questions. So welcome. As a side note, uh, you guys are leaving great questions in the comments. And if I don't get to them, I'm starting to answer a lot of them on Facebook Lives, which I'm gonna post here afterwards. So continue to leave them. I'll either answer them in the comment section or on the Facebook Lives can't answer personal medical questions, but um, do what you got. Okay, so let's get started today. We're gonna talk about what medications are generic because um, some people, most people, I would say 99% of people really don't wanna pay over $1,000 every month for their weight medication. So what are the alternatives? Phentermine is generic. Um, been around for a long time since the 1950s and it's a great option for a lot of people you can use it with a GLP-1 you can use it on its own patients usually lose about five five to seven percent total body weight some people lose more some people lose less but that's around the average I would say about five percent total body weight um, but it is generic and so it can be a great option for some people um, and like I said, you can layer it with some of the other medications, which brings me to the second option, which is Qsimia. Now, Qsimia is um, not generic on its own. Qsimia is a combination pill of phentermine and topiramate, but let's say your insurance isn't covering that. You can chat with your um, physician who's prescribing these medications for you and see if they can do kind of a workaround because phentermine is generic and topiramate is generic and you can get pretty close if you co-prescribe them together if you can't get the um, Qsimia on its own in an affordable range. Okay, the next medication to talk about is Contrave and Contrave is also an oral medication. It is bupropion and naltrexone. Now again, like Qsimia, Contrave on its own, not generic. But if your insurance is gonna say, mm, this is gonna cost a lot uh, as a copay or they won't cover it, you can talk again to your physician who's prescribing this for you and see if they can do kind of an approximation. You can get pretty close um, with co-prescribing bupropion and co-prescribing naltrexone on their own. So another great option for patients, again, about five to 7% total body weight for people who are on that medication. And again, that's another one that you can layer with a GLP-1 agonist. Also, we should talk about metformin. Now metformin actually technically is not FDA approved for weight management or the treatment of obesity. However, we have been using it for a long time off label, especially to offset um, the weight gain that comes with some uh, psychiatric medications. So it's definitely generic. You should definitely be able to find it um, at a reasonable price. And I would say, you know, usually people are losing about 3% total body weight. So it's not at the top of my list, but it's definitely can be a great option for some people. Again, some people lose less, some people lose more. Talk to your doctor about it. Okay, but the biggest news is that liraglutide, aka Saxenda, should be generic available this summer. That is huge because Saxenda, aka liraglutide, is the first GLP-1 agonist that has been that was originally um, approved for weight management, and it can be a really good alternative for patients who can't get Wagovi and who can't get Zepbound or Munjaro. So it doesn't work quite as well. It's not as strong a medication and you are injecting daily. But I definitely have patients who tolerate it better than either of those and we just never know until we try. So that's huge news, very exciting. Um, I don't know how much it would be out of pocket for patients if their insurance doesn't cover it, but it just means that there's much more market competition and it means that the prices will definitely be lower. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so that's gonna do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. As always, my references will be listed down below. If you have questions, uh, leave them down below too, and I'll either answer them here or on a Facebook Live. Thank you so much for watching, and please be well.